disappointment set off the most intense round of rioting in years. With their sympathy to the protesters. You know what this is? It's the back end of a dying culture. Even this city, everything you see, everything you touch, it's death. Well, I'm not dying with it. I mean, when it comes right down to it, which would you prefer? To kill or be killed? Mr. Daniels, are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a difficult question? I'm very happy. Oh. Well, uh, if you have all the money that you could possibly spend in a lifetime and you're very happy, then why do you have to keep making more? Money is the only way of keeping score. Okay. Then uh, what turns you on more than anything? Right this minute? Well, what's this interview really about, Angela? I don't know what you mean. I know what you do. You relax the person. You ask a few meaningless questions. And then you squeeze. <laughs> I have to turn the, uh, the tape over. What is it? Uh, it's a, just a prowler. Nothing to be worried about. Uh, uh, uh. I just want to see. You see nothing, baby. I was just looking for a place to sleep. Huh? Yeah, I'm going. E easy with that thing, huh? I'm going. Sure are.
Lieutenant? Mm. As a woman in the house, you might want to talk to. Anybody checked over the phone call? Yeah, I sent the uh, phone Very good. How many times you fire your gun? Twice. Twice. Uh, and what was he, what, about uh, 20 feet away? Closer, maybe 10. Ten feet away, okay. And he was what, swinging the machete, swinging it back and forth? Slashing it. Yeah. Slashing at you, okay. But he didn't get a swipe at you, did he? Fortunately, no. Okay. Okay. Can I go now, Detective? Sure, you can go. You didn't see anything. I'll see you in court. Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be my pleasure, Ms. Nolan. After this, maybe we should get together again. Pick up where we left off. Uh, yeah, thanks. Couldn't you have at least fired a warning shot? No time. What about that woman on the balcony? I mean, she must have seen something. Why didn't you tell Kusa? <laughs> Poor dumb Dory. Probably just confused the police. I'm sure she didn't see anything. Just like you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I'll walk you. You're lucky you got Kuza. Where's that? It's got blind spots worse than a semi. Nice place. You live in the area? Tim Tramick. Only claim to fame is John Wigitlo. Bob's cousin. Ah, is that right? How long have you been with the Detroit police? Uh, about 19 years. Have you got an ashtray? No. You ever shoot anybody? Uh, eight, um, eight colored, one Caucasian. Never shot a woman. How many you kill? I shot nine, I killed nine. One guy, he didn't die for a year. His mother and his brother are suing me. 10 million bucks. Can you believe that? 10 million bucks for some nothing loser's life? I gotta go to court next week. That's what the dame was mouthing off about. You know, see you in court. What was she doing here, anyway? Interviewing me for an article about the rich. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't think she uh, likes us much. Yeah, she usually writes crap about the police, you know? Excessive violence. You know, uh, sometimes you got no choice but to take a guy out. So, what do you carry? Browning 9 millimeter. May I? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, it's hey, okay. hey, it's okay. Take care, Dory. Let me show you something. Hey! Magnum for, hey. Dirty Harry, huh? <laughs> Dirty Harry. <laughs> There's more. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, that, hey. That is nice. That is nice. I got some other pieces here that uh, might surprise you. Yeah? Thing is, I'm not supposed to have them. Oh, well, hey. I happen to be off duty now.
are you doing, Rob? Going to war? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your girlfriend, darling? She left awfully fast. Good night, Patty. It was. Kusa shot Darius Roy, subsequently ending his life. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Strike, subsequently ending his life. He's dead, right? Order. He's dead, right? Curtis, on that day, why did you go to the Roy apartment? We had a tip. We got the address on a tip, but we got a bad tip. It was the wrong address. And how did you enter the Roy apartment? They kicked the door in. Mr. Randall. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Restrain your client. Curtis, please. So, Lieutenant Hurd, all seven officers entered the apartment? That's right. Think you had enough troops for the job? <laughs> Order. And when you got inside the Roy apartment, what were they doing? They were eating. They had uh, pie on the table. They had soda, big plastic bottles. And what did Mr. Kuzer say to Darius Roy? Well, Mr. Roy was heading towards the kitchen and Mr. Kuzer just simply said, stop, don't move. And then what happened? Well, Roy headed back towards where Kuzer was standing and at that point, Mr. Kuzer decided that he would open fire. I thought Darius Roy was shot in the spine. That's right, he went through the front. Must have been a powerful weapon. It was a magnum. Mr. Roy. It was a big, no, ma. It was a big, for what are you asking him for, man? Why don't you ask me? Curtis. Ask me what that fat ass. Mr. Roy. 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 Mr.
Nah, that's what he really wanted to do, but this is the one to stop him. This is the one concern. I have seen enough of Mr. Roy in this court. Now he can leave on his own, or the officers can remove him. Oh, uh, I gotta go now. Now let's get you out of my car. Let me go, let me go. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Yo, you got yours coming, cause you got yours coming, man. Shut up! Mr. Shut Kuzma. your mouth, you black Mr. Kuzma. punk! You got money Mr. Kuzma. little Kuzma. punk! Mr. Randall! You see? Order! Order! Don't touch me. Counselor, I will charge your client with contempt. We're sorry, Your Honor. Have you finished with this witness, Mr. Randall? I have one final area to cover, Your Honor. Well, then continue. Was Darius, at the time he was shot, was he holding anything in his hand? Yeah, he was. He was holding a knife. What kind? A big butcher knife? No, it was a silverware knife. Just a plain, ordinary silverware that's knife? That's right, that's right. With banana cream pie on it, okay? No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down now, Lieutenant Hurd. No smoking, hey. Hello, Robbie. What are you doing here? Watching. Me? No, but. Hey, sir? Hey, creep. What? Well, now they're gonna knock me down to sergeant. Is that right? Whoa. Yeah, that's is right. That my problem? That's oh, right, it is your problem. Especially when you need backup from me. You fake! Take it easy, Walter. After it. Oh, yeah, right. Get out of here. Walter. What are you doing here? Came to see you. Oh, yeah? For what? Moral support. <laughs> Hi, Brian. What are you doing down here? I thought you gave up this beat. Thought you moved on to bigger and better things, no? Guess not. I thought you moved away. You might have left town or something. No, I've just been busy. So I guess your testimony could really be Kuze in, huh? Maybe. Listen, you want to go for a drink? Drink? Yeah, a drink, Angela. Can you just relax for once? Yeah, OK. How do you know Daniels? I'm doing an article on him. Is he interesting? If you mean am I interested, the answer is no. See, slick. Oh, are you saying you're interested? <laughs> Still all business. Don't. Oh, I'm never gonna get off. Take it easy, Walter. You, you can still discredit this. Homicide guy, you know, Brian Hurd. Just make it look like he's got a personal grudge or something. But it's that kid, Curtis, who you should be worried about. Yeah, he's a real punk. He's dying to make a buck out of his. With so many glacks on the jury, he's definitely gonna be a problem. You know, Mr. Daniels, if there's anything that you can do, uh, to help me out, you know, I'd really appreciate to hear it. Yeah. Tell me, Walter, when you shot those, those nine people, how'd you feel? How did I feel? Yeah, you felt bad, sick. I guess I never really thought about it. But I, I, I suppose I felt like I was glad it was them and not me. Hmm. How much do you like being a cop, Walter? OK. Except when crap like this happened. 
said was to offer you two grand a week to give it up. Two grand a week? Hmm. What would I have to do for her? Drive. Act as my bodyguard. You could call it uh, security work. Would I have to wear a chauffeur's uniform? Or a peaked hat or something? <laughs> two grand a week? What do I do first, Rob? <laughs> first, you call me Mr. Daniels. That's no problem. Okay, Mr. Daniels. How's that? <laughs> Mr. Dennis. <laughs> the other thing, you're gonna have to quit smoking. <laughs> That's no problem. No problem. I turn 30 next week. Oh, I'm sorry. Great. <laughs> Why don't you come back to my apartment? Oh, you haven't changed much, have you? Just as romantic as ever. What are we doing? I don't know. Maybe you could give me a lift home. I came out on a squad car. Yeah. All right? Yeah, fine. This lady is interviewing you, Lieutenant. Let me give you a word of warning. Three words, to be exact. Watch your ass. Robbie Daniels. How do you do? I believe you already know my uh, new driver and uh, head of security, Walter Cusa. Planning for the future there, Walter? Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. Who's threatening your security, Robbie? Oh, you know, the usual crackpots who hate the rich. <laughs> so, uh, Angela, when are we gonna finish what we started? Well, I'll call you. <laughs> Remember my warning. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. No, no, I got it, I got it. Okay. You all right? Yeah. Still drink beer? Here you are. Whose are these? It's a friend. You didn't think I'd still be pining after a year and a half, did you? No, I didn't. Uh oh, I think this is a mistake.
yo, man, what are you still doing? You're gonna get me fired. It's not gonna happen, Curtis. How'd you know my name? I know a lot of things. <laughs> what do you want? What's, what's, what's the problem, man? I'm gonna make you a star, pal. <laughs> no, please. No. Don't! No! Let's bring the other attendant downtown and pull the tickets and all the cars parked down here in the last two hours and run their plates, all right, Bridget? I'll find out who checked in and out of the hotel around 10, see if they saw anybody coming out of the garage that wasn't in uniform. Okay, and see if anybody saw Lincoln Connell park down here. And I think we should send Quentin over to pick up Walter Cousin. <sighs> Walter? Yes. Oh, come on, he can't be that stupid. Walter's never used a 22 in his life. Maybe not, but let's ruin his day anyway. Okay. Hey, Brian. Okay, come on. What happened? Well, we don't know yet. Did Walter do it? We don't know, Angela. I'll start running those tags. What did about it, Bridget? I already did. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Look, I'm sorry about last night. So are you picking Walter up? I can't discuss the case, Angela. You know, if you ask me over again, I might not say no. Really? Why should I ask? Because you want to? Those Bridget's underwear? No, they were mine. <laughs> That's very funny. So what are you doing tonight? Gotta ask you some questions. Walter. About what? Somebody did Curtis Roy. Come on. Didn't hear about it. It's been all over the news. No, how, how am I gonna hear about it? I've been driving around for Daniels all day. But uh, I'll tell you something. You find out who did it, you let me know. I wanna shake his hand. Step inside. We gotta take a full statement. Oh dear! Did Robbie shoot somebody again? Hey, Miss Daniels. Uh, my name is Walter Cruz. I'm uh, your husband's new head of security. Oh, that um, sounds impressive. Can I ask you something, Walter? Kuza? Sure, Miss Dennis. What do they call it? Call, call what? Walter! Oh, hi, Miss Daniels. How you doing? You been smoking in here? No. No, your wife, uh... Miss Daniels, I gotta talk to you. I gotta ask you something. Let's have a drink. Uh, Mr. Daniels, <clears throat> was was it you that did Curtis Roy? You mean that that kid who was going to testify against you in court? No, thank you. And who was shot and killed in the parking garage with a high standard Field King Twenty Two? Nah, must have been somebody else. I knew it, but uh, I didn't believe it. Good, nobody else will either.
Mr. Daniels, I, I've been a cop for uh, over 20 years, and there is no way that you can commit a homicide at a place like that with people around and get away with it. Aren't you relieved that he's dead? Yeah, of course I'm relieved that he's dead. Your legal problems are over. They're going to have to drop the suit. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Daniels, I appreciate what you did, but you're in the worst trouble of your life. Do they question you? Yes. They mention my name as a suspect? No, but uh, it could get around to you. Walter, with a kid like Curtis Roy, they just go through the motions. Cops don't care when scum like that gets blown away. So did you do it for me? On a kind of lawsuit? Well, not entirely. Yeah, I mean, I figured, you know, there must be some other reason to you know, take a risk like that. You mind telling me why you did it? Practice. I liked watching you at the scene today. You really took charge. Yeah, right. Seriously. Ready for this? I'm ready. Robbie Daniels confirmed Walter's alibi. What? This file on the Prowler killing at the Daniels estate's not complete. Oh, sure it is. Tell me, it's not I complete. pulled it myself. There's no fingerprint report in there on the machete. What are you thinking? Kuza. The standard procedure. Why wouldn't he do it? He's sloppy. Or maybe he's not too sure the prep ever touched that weapon. So Walter made it easy on Robbie? Maybe. And now Robbie's returning the favor. He's covering for Walter. Who's going to question the word of a Robbins and Daniels, right? So I should stay on Walter. That's right. Angel, I asked about you. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? I want to speak to all the officers who are on the estate that night, okay? Walter, are you still here? Oh, yeah. I, was, I, just, want to, I just want to see this one more time. Perfect, perfect, Dory. You sure she left town? Yeah, she left town. Too bad, huh? Get out of here, Walter. Hey, come on, come Get on. out of here fast. I have a visit.
Couldn't you have at least fired a warning shot? No time. What about that woman on the balcony? I mean, she must have seen something. Why didn't you tell Kusa? <laughs> Poor dumb Dory. Probably just confused the police. I'm sure she didn't see anything. Just like you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I'll walk you. You're lucky you got Kusa. Where's that? It's got blind spots worse than a semi. Can I tell you something, Mr. Daniels? Sure. A few years ago, I was working in sex crimes, and there was this rapist going around. Raped about 30 women. So they put me on decoy. One night, this guy follows me down a dark street, shoves me into a doorway. Now, he takes out a 12-inch blade, and you know what he said to me? He said, I'm going to tie you up now, sweetheart. Tear you apart. What'd you do? I shot him. Dead? He wasn't that lucky. He's doing 12 to 25 with a limp. <laughs> so, Mr. Daniels, were you at the plaza last Saturday morning? Well, let me see. No, I dropped a couple guys off the paunch on uh, Saturday morning. I was uh, at the plaza picking somebody up, but that was later in the day. I was driving a black Mercedes, in case you want to know. Hmm. Hey, you ever been a model? No. Huh. Ever been on TV? Couple times. Walking prisoners into the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Hmm. You like your toys, don't you, Mr. Daniels? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, go ahead. I got it. I got it. Oh, that's very good. Let's hope so, huh? Okay. Good morning. I have a Bridget. She's, uh, she's found a guy from Detroit. We checked out of the hotel the same morning that kid got killed, so maybe we can place Robbie on the scene. I shouldn't be too long. Hold on. What do I do? Wait. No way. He can't sit in on it. You know that. Brian, we've got an agreement. My research for your information. All right, you can give me a lift, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. I'm not your driver. Then we'll see you later, all right? All right, give me five minutes. An actual five minutes? Five minutes, Brian. And no one else was with Daniels in the car? No, no, he was alone. Okay, well, thanks very much for coming down, Mr. Maynard. We'll call you if we need anything else. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Nice work, Bridget. Thanks. What? Your lunch date's waiting. We got one guy who can put Robbie in the garage. Pick him up, then. We need two. But why does a guy like Robbie Daniels want to do something like this for a chump like Walter? Man, is this a story. Robbie. How did you get in here? Heard you play golf? No. I'll teach you later this afternoon. Why? You seem to want to get to know me. Why uh, get a second hand from Bridget? I hear you made her a star. Yes, she's very photogenic. I'll have Walter pick you up around four. I'll see you. When are we going to continue the interviews? I'll call you. She'll call you. So how is that? Pretty nice stuff? You better watch yourself, otherwise you won't get a chance to know me too good this afternoon because your jaw's gonna be wired shut. Boy, the guy just walks right in here.
So, how's the new job? Like working for this guy, Walter? I remember I drove someone one time. I got to go to a lot of parties. Get to any parties? Walter? I bet you see some really interesting stuff, huh? Hey, Walter, how come they don't give you the chauffeur's uniform, the little Pete? Hey, listen, wise guy. Are you talking to me, driver? Yeah, you, you think you're so clever, right? I, do. I say you're Bush. Homicide lieutenant and all that. You're still Bush. Yeah, someday you'll see how it's done in the majors, wise guy. I'll say this for you, Walter. You're a very good driver. You'll always find work. <laughs> Paul Calderon, a great international banker. How are you, Paul? Still sleeping with little girls, Robbie? Oh, is your sister back in town? Cheech? Wish I'd known you were coming out today. I ended up playing with somebody who almost beat me. Don't you miss your people, Paul, living this far north? No. I get lonely, I sleep with your wife. Oh, you too? When I'm not with Dory Vaughn. Too bad you let a nice piece like that slip away, Robbie. Yeah, well, we ran out of things to talk about. It's not what she says. Lieutenant. Paul Calderon. Lieutenant Brian Hurd. There you go. How are you? Senor Cheech here is even richer than I am. And he doesn't even deal drugs. First thing we do is get you some clothes. I've got clothes. You look like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> oh, too bad. You gotta keep your head down. Thanks, Larry. See you Tuesday. Thank you, Mr. Caldero. Have a good day. Kill anyone? No. But I was reading about a guy that you killed. Yes, that prowler. It's a terrible thing. You know, I was thinking about a guy in a marsh. Ah. Gossage. Shocking. Pushed it right out of my mind. But that prowler, he came at me with a machete. It's pretty scary. So what'd you use? Cold python. It's my favorite. What do you care? I got a Beretta 85. Nice piece. Very light. That's true. You never uh, killed anyone? No. I never had to. But you shot someone? No. I never even had to pull my weapon that many times. 
I feel that uh, nine out of ten shootings can be avoided. Yeah, maybe. Then there are some people who are just begging to be killed. You think so? I don't agree. I think even the biggest scumbag in the world wants to live. In my experience, I'll just say I've seen people that are in such bad shape. They got sores all over their bodies. They got track marks up and down their arms so bad their veins have fallen. And they're just as afraid as the next guy about dying. That's what I noticed. Doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Sounds to me like you think that killing someone's really no big deal at all. I didn't say that. You didn't? I just have a different perspective. I mean, you've never shot anyone, and I've shot two people. Then who's the expert here? something about how certain people deserve to die or something. Well, didn't he show any emotion when he talked about it? Not really. He didn't get excited. I didn't notice. Brian, aren't you going to do something before somebody else gets killed? Well, what do you think I should do? Should I arrest him? Maybe. For what? On suspicion of getting off on killing people? I'm a homicide cop. That's not what I do. I don't know about preventing murders. I just go in afterwards and I clean him up. Yeah. Hello, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, I think I can arrange that. How about next week? Oh, hold on. Okay. Day after tomorrow, then. Right. Bye. What's he want? He wants to finish the interview. Well, I think you should hold off on that for a while. I thought you weren't worried. Just give it a week or two. Mm -mm. He's leaving for Florida in two days. I won't get another chance. There's lots of other rich people out there, Angela, you could talk to. Just leave Daniels alone Brian, for now. Brian, I can handle Robbie. Look, if I find out that you've gone to see him, I'm going to have you arrested for interfering with this investigation. Do you understand me? You'll arrest me. That's right. For your own protection. You can leave, Brian. Look, if this guy is what you think he is, this is not someone that you can handle. Just leave. I'm not getting around here, Angela. Goodbye, Brian. Okay, forget it. My God, you're still here. Got an address on Dory Vaughn. Good girl. That sleaze agent of hers says uh, she's been living with Paul Calderon. Hey. Calderon? Yeah. You're kidding. No, why? You know him? No, he and Robbie belong to the same club. I got the feeling there's no love lost between these two guys. 
Maybe this is why. No. No. Robbie's not the possessive type when it comes to women. But I bet he's least she's still in town. Hmm? Why don't you talk to her tomorrow? Why me? She might talk more easily to you. What if she didn't see anything? Well, my bet is that she did. That's why Robbie Baby kicked her loose. OK. Where are you going? Home. Oh. Alone. So she never left. That little liar. I don't believe it. He comes home. He sees the broad with her tush sticking up like that. And he don't touch her. He's got to be a fruit. We don't need any more surveillance, Walter. I want a two-color room. Well, why? Why? He's begging to be killed. What do you mean? What, 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 Cosadora, you mean? He cheats at golf. What? That's crazy. Are you trying to tell me my business? No, no, I, I, no. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I just, you don't kill a guy because you don't like him. Why not? Haven't you ever done that? All nine of those guys that you shot, you shot because your life was in danger? No, I, no, not exactly. It's just that, you know, I, 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 I... That's exactly how I feel about Calderon. He makes the rich look cheap. I mean, look at his house. So when were you thinking about doing this? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? You got a golf date with the guy tomorrow. Right after golf. After golf? What about the broad? The broad? I don't, I don't do broads. I told you that. Don't worry about I, Dory. I'm not going to start I'll doing broads I'll take care of now. Dory. What are you thinking about? What to wear? Yeah, this Dory Vaughn's agent. Yeah, this is uh, United Tire over on Michigan. Yeah, we're shooting a commercial here today and uh, our actress got sick. <laughs> well, you know, it happens. Yeah, uh, Miss Vaughn gave me her card a couple of months ago. Yeah, is she available? Super. This afternoon around five? Super. What's up, Cheech? I know. What do you say we raise the stakes to the grander hall? You think I'm rich? Don't be rich. That was in the hole, then. Hello? Oh, hi, Lionel. Yeah? Great, a commercial. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, um, hold on one second. Okay. United Tire on Michigan. Okay. Five o'clock? Got it. Thanks. That's great. Yeah. Okay, bye. Darcy, I'm going to be a star. See you, Ruby. No shower? No, I gotta get going. Oh, uh, you can give me the 6,000 in the check. I trust you. It's in the mail. Ciao, Cheech. Okay, get down low, get down low. Get down low, shoot him coming up through the water. That's it. Okay, Lee, perfect. That's it, that's it, perfect. perfect. It's showtime. <laughs> What are you doing here? 
And this man and this camera. You're making a film. Yeah, we're making a film. Ah, it's wonderful. And I'm in it, huh? Oh, you're the star. <laughs> but, uh, where's Dory? Oh, she's shooting a commercial. Too bad you missed her. Well, tell me about it. She was gonna be your co-star. So, Ruby. What's this movie all about? Death. Oh, it's a very serious subject. Who's death? Yours? <laughs> Don't you like to have a drink first? Maybe later. <laughs> Come on, rub, yeah? Good joke, huh? You getting all this, Walter? Come on, enough's enough. This is a joke, huh? We've got one chance to get this guy. If we screw up, we lose him. He's gotten away with this before, not this time. We just kill him. Brian, we gotta get the door of Ivan before Robbie does. 
Maybe Walter will talk. Now, he can't go along with killing a cop. Okay. Okay? I'll find him. job. It used to be your job, too. You know, I, I heard about what happened to Bridget. That makes me sick. What was that guy uh, called the wrong? Was he a dealer or something? What? You got a choice. You either give me Robbie Daniels or I take you down, too. I don't know what you're talking about. You testify, and I want the machine gun that he used on Bridget. What are we talking about here? Unity? Not a chance. You got 24 hours. What the hell are you looking at? Give me a double wild turkey. I'm leaving the country, and you're going to finance it. Walter, don't panic. Talk to me. Well, I can either sell you the tape, or I can give it to the cops. Where can I meet you to talk? The Hamtramck Bar. And you be there by 8 o'clock, and, and you don't try anything. Walter. Because there's lots of cops around. Walter. Walter. have to do the interview tonight. Tonight? It's Walter. He's uh, out of control. I found something that connects him to the Curtis Roy murder, and now he's threatening me. I'm leaving for Florida in the morning. Uh, well, what did you find? No. We have to talk in person. You're going to have to meet me. My place, two hours. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. Tell Brian Hurd I want to talk to him. That's right. You tell him Walter Cousin wants to talk to him immediately. Yes. Well, you find out where the hell he is and you, you, you have him call me. No, I'm at my sister's. That's correct. That is correct.
How did you find me? I was late. I saw you take off. I tried calling your name, but uh, you really seemed hell-bent to get out of there. Don't be so paranoid, Kuza. The birds of a feather, remember? Mm -hmm. I remember. That's why I'm searching you. Sit down. What's the deal, Walter? It is. <clears throat> Deal. Two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand cash. Untraceable bills for the tape. You mean for the tapes, don't you, Walter? No. There's only one. I threw the other one away. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? <laughs> So you're gonna pay it, or what? Which tape do you have? Calderon. Why would I give you a quarter million for it, Walter? Because you're in it, Rob. And if I don't pay? Brian Hurd gets a very interesting package in the mail. And he doesn't ask who the cameraman is? I'll give you a hundred grand. But you gotta prove to me that you have the tape. hundred. Take it or leave it. Okay. Okay, you, you wait here. for hours. Wait, 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 what's that? What's, what's this? Looks like a brogue. Does Walter wear brogues? I don't know. Well, it's too late for that.
My friend's gone, but I'm here. He'll kill me. Well, he's not going to find out. Just relax, all right? Just take it easy for a minute. I'll be back. I don't know. What do you think? She testified against her own mother. She's so scared. And we got him. Put me the search warrant in the estate. Give me the arrest warrant. I'll meet you over there. Whoa, wait. That could take too well. Homicide. I don't care. I'm prepared to wait. I don't want to be the guy that cuffs him. You better hurt phone. Not now. All right, don't go in before we get the warrant. Right. We don't want to lose him. Right. Sorry, he just left. Uh, any message? Uh, yeah. Uh, tell him that, um... Uh, just tell him that Angela called, please. Okay. Thanks. Good night. Angela? So, what do you have on Walter? He's really disappointed me. What have you got? Scotch. Robbie, don't play games with me. You don't like games? You said you had incriminating evidence. Ice? Okay. Show it to me or I leave. <laughs> What's your hurry? We have all night. videotape I want you to see. I review my surveillance tapes occasionally. And when I saw this footage, I checked my collection. So you think Walter stole the gun and killed Curtis? I can't believe I trust him. Looks like I shouldn't have trusted you either. I had no idea he was coming. What do you think was going to happen, huh? 
You think I was going to confess while he stood behind the door? No. Sit down, Angela. Uh. <laughs> you think your Brian's in the mood for a little hide and seek? that you could possibly spend in a lifetime and you're very happy, then why do you have to keep making more? Money's the only way of keeping score. that you killed Kuz in self-defense. But not Brian. Let's talk to him, okay? Maybe he can help you out. I don't think so, Angela. I really don't think so. <laughs> but it was a good try. A very good try. Oh!
Hi, baby. Come see a movie. Mary has such lousy lighting. Maybe we can do something with color correction. All right, it's good now. Watch this. Okay, watch. Yeah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, let's shoot you close up. Yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? Get off of me. Come on, come on. Cry for me. Cry. Cry for me. Come on, give me a little terror. Come on. Get off. Give it to me. Get off. Sweat. Come on. Come on. So what is this? Is this life? Or is this beta max? Whoa, these guys make a good team. I don't remember them giving lessons and playing dead at the academy. Well, maybe they should. Daniel sure fell for it. <laughs> yeah. Mark! Yeah, <laughs> How you doing? Feeling okay? I just heard. I'm sorry about Bridget. They're, uh, they're gonna take me to the hospital now. Should I meet you there? Maybe you can stay with me for a few days. You know, at least until your arm gets a bit better. I'm not a good patient. I'm not a good nurse. Maybe I'll pick up a couple of videos on the way home. Maybe not. <laughs> so what is this? Is this live? Or is this Betamax?